Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scatino, aka Scat, and just to let you know that Ubisoft have just announced that Watch Dogs has been delayed on all platforms until spring 2014. Ubisoft decides in the reason being that you know they want more time to um, spend on the game, maximise quality, polish the game up. Obviously, a lot of rumours are going to be swirling around about why this game has been delayed. The major one probably being down to Grand Theft Auto 5, the fact that that game is so dope and Ubisoft are probably thinking, uh, are we a bit too much like Grand Theft Auto? Are we going to be able to build on that hype? You know, Are we going to be able to exceed the expectations that people are going to be expecting of an open world game now after Grand Theft Auto 5? You know, it... It all kind of makes sense, really, that the game would be delayed because of that. You know, they're the waiting for the hype for Grand Theft Auto V to die down. That game is still selling in its millions. You know, it's breaking records left, right and centre. We're a month away. We're four weeks away from the launch of the PlayStation 4. Five weeks away from the launch of the Xbox One. Watch Dogs was set to be a launch title. And with Christmas coming up, it doesn't really... You know, there's no signs of the sales of Grand Theft Auto 5 slowing down, so it kind of makes sense that Ubisoft would delay Watch Dogs until, you know, that hype has died down. Um, what's more interesting is the fact that, obviously, the official um, PlayStation 4 bundles, there was an actual official Watch Dogs bundle. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how like the retailers and online retailers are actually going to combat that for people who pre-ordered the Watch Dogs bundle. I mean, Sony have already announced already that, you know, any more pre-orders from now, you know, they're not guaranteed for launch. Are people who have already pre-ordered the Watch Dogs bundle you know, go, going to be affected by that? Are there going to be enough, like, standard edition consoles left to fulfil them kind of pre-orders? I, myself, didn't order that that bundle. I pre-ordered the, um, the Killzone Shadowfall one. I obviously pre-ordered the game for, you know, release on day one. Uh, obviously, that's not going to be the case now, but that's fine by me. It saves me, like, an extra 50 quid. Um, to be honest, my personal feelings on Watch Dogs at this point is I was kind of getting bored of it anyway. I think I've seen so much of the game over the past 18 months that the hype for it has just been dead for me for quite a long time. I mean, when it was first announced at E3 last year, you know, everybody was hyped. Everyone was like, oh shit, did we just see the first next gen game? And then Ubisoft was like, no, no, it's coming to current gen and PC. It was running on a PC this Saturday and the other, but then obviously it ended up being a cross gen game coming to PS4 and Xbox One. So, but we've seen so much of the game over the past 18 months that I kind of just got bored of it. So, to be honest, I'm quite happy with the delay, to be that honest. I wasn't that hyped for it going up to release anyway like I say hopefully they can spend some extra time on it polish it up you know maybe like just step out the limelight a bit stop showing off all this gameplay you know everything about it you know just take a bit of time away polish up the game a bit and then come back and you know get everyone you know hyped up for the game but yeah so um, it's without an actual release date at the moment it just says spring so that could be when like any time from March maybe um, so March, April, May possibly, who knows, we'll see uh, but yeah that's it from me guys um, as always don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I'm your boy Scatino and I'm out, peace